Ball! Oh, taken by G.J. von Falter at full stretch. However, it's been all about so far, and they're rumbling menacingly towards that Harlequins try line. Alex Dombrand has to um, reset, and as he resets, Bath drive over and get the score that all of their hard work deserves, and it is Fun Feltzer. It's a brilliant take at the line out, wasn't it? Actually, it was an overthrow. Whether, well, we wonder whether Tom Dunn might have actually taken it over in the end. It was uh, GJ Fun Feltzer at the uh, at the centre of things, but maybe done with the final touch. Yeah. Don't compete. Brilliant kick. 7-0, Oz. Very bright, bad start. Yeah, Tom Brandt well met there, inside pass from Marla, but a couple of easy tacklers waiting for him. From the bath man, Jack Walker. Took it on, and again Esther Hazen, and then the link out, and now Murley, and Murley doing what he's been doing all season. Smith and Bassett operating from fullback today. Oh, and Esther Hazen, he's got Smith to his left, he didn't see him. He was hoping that Bassett would have followed up. Instead, it's Jeltema, the move's still alive. Somehow, Quinn's kept it going. Uh, Bath in their eagerness to win it back have knocked it on. Lining up away to the left-hand side, Don Brandt. And then the large striding lamb and away to Wallace. And Quinns do have to. You feared for a while that they'd been to the butchers. But they stepped back outside and scored the try eventually. So done. Josh Bale is now part of this line-out permanently because oh. Miles Reed has failed his HIA and Clurter. Uh, that could be another one. Done. Spencer. Fucking a singer charging in off his wing. They've got to be gapped somewhere. Quinn's down to 13 and Bath in full steam here. That close. That close. All in one motion. And it's uh, the man who was absolutely Sorry, central to the it. first try, G.J. von Feltzer. Well, it started from that line out, and I thought Alex Dombrand had actually deliberately knocked the ball on here. So, try for me. So, we won't need to worry about that, and neither will Quinns, because Bath have scored the try, and it was an excellent finish in the end, because he still had plenty of work to do. Let's have a look at this. Just wriggles round, and all in one motion according to the referee and Van Belt is able to get over the line really good response and Quinns are up yeah, against it now down to 13 and, we'll and behind on the okay. scoreboard well Van Felter has now got two tries or one and a half depending on how you uh, how you <laughs> view the first one or maybe just okay. one if you're going all in Tom Dunn he's played well hasn't he Van Belt really has I mean whatever you say he's had a he's had an impact in this game Hustling over the 10 metre line, Wallace, oh, for goodness oh. me, the quality of some of the tackling, that one from Van Feltzer. I mean, real seatbelt jolting stuff, but now then, Marchant down, two players, but Marchant and Smith are magicians. Forget about holding on until half-time, Quinns aren't built that way. However many they've got on the pitch, however many they're missing, top line. Adventure. The good news for Bath, though, maybe not in, in that moment, but certainly in the future, is that all of that is coachable. All of that is something that they could get hold of on the training field and they could coach that. Ollie Lawrence for the first try and then Ted Hill for that one. Bouncing ball uh, delivered by Bailey, beautifully picked up by Thocken, a singer. Thocken, a singer gives it away and Lawrence going strong. Oh. Firework time. We are being treated to some stuff here at Twickenham. Quinn strike, bath strike. Six foot six, 18 stone, thucking a singer. Brown might seem a long way away to people, but whoa, what a pickup this is. The kick's not where he really wants it to be from Bailey, but this guy makes the absolute most of it. Look at it. He puts it way too far forward. It's a 50 50. Bassett's not sure. Thocking a singer as he gets down on the ball, back up, and now a wonderful clear, offload, and then a foot race. That's a brilliant try from Bath. 
It really is, and it's the speed. Look at this, the speed that he gets down and up. Look, Bassett stops momentarily, but he's already up and pushed off the floor with his leg power. That's a fantastic try, really is. Bassett would be disappointed, really, because yeah. he stopped. Well, and then by the time he got going again, the ball was gone. Just got a little bit more on the bench, haven't they, Quinns, in terms of pace? This is a big Four. moment, though. Yep, Bath. In five! Right in there, and they've got Annett with his hands on the ball, and he's not far from the line. That's a try. Well, he's been on for about 3.67 seconds, and Niall Annett has done a job with the throw, with the gather, with the try, Looks and so Bath move ahead again. Well, this game is full of momentum swings, isn't it? And that one has come from nowhere, really, because Quinns have been in complete control of this match, and then somehow the first real opportunity that Bath have had for some time and that looked a little bit too easy didn't it if Bath were fatigued maybe five minutes ago Quinns were just weak there really weak defensively and they've just allowed them to come straight through the middle and help themselves really to a fairly soft try sixth of the season all of them in the premiership Bath have had you know, really improved their attacking game, their set piece in the last two months. But what they've had all season, even when the quality of the rugby has not been that good, is they've had a fight. You know, there's been times where they've looked out on their feet, and the last quarter they've fought and found something. And with this kick, stretches the lead out to three points. That is a massive conversion. Well, the first time in Bath's history that they have scored a, a try bonus point in five consecutive matches. An indication of the progress that they are beginning to make under Johan van Graan and his yeah, coaching yeah. team. Yeah, and, and also... The... Van Feltzer, Bailey, Lawrence, he's got Gallagher to his left, and then a little bit further out, McConaughey. And McConaughey busts the attempted tackle of David. Spencer, oh, oh that's wonderful, Fokken a singer. This is a topsy-turvy old game. Okay. Who's winning this? How's this finishing? Swinging one way and then the other. Right now it's blue, black and white. What a peach of a try that was. That's probably the best try I think Bath has scored today. You look at the way they constructed this. A couple of really, really strong carries and then the big man at the end there. But have a look at this. Wonderful pass from Ollie Lawrence. Look at McConaughey. Rides the tackle. Nothing wrong with that, as he wasn't held, he gets up, and then really good carry again there, and the timing of the run and the work rate from Thocken a singer and the delay on the pass from probably Bath's best player, Spencer, as peach of a try, really, really well worked. Have a look at that. That's outstanding carry again from Schumann and then Thocken a singer adding it at the end. Great winger try, isn't it? Track the ball. You watch it from behind again. It just gives you an idea of how difficult he is to tackle. He's not in the eye line here. He's not a threat. He's on the far side. But look how tight he gets. And that means as Wallace drops off into guard, he's got to stay. And then he has to get long in the arm. So it's a really difficult tackle for him. And he's got to effectively... He can't leave the nine because he's guard, so he has to defend there. And then he has to get his arm out and stop an 18-stone winger. Impossible. Brilliant try. It looks, looks fine, doesn't he? Steele, Smith, off he goes. Flashing <laughs> feet, wonderful, magical, metre short. Not now, though. Up they go, Don Brandt scores. Combination of one of Quinn's best little ones and one of their best big ones. Smith, then Don Brandt, then the try. Now Quinn's are getting back in it. Chris Clearton pushing hard on this, uh, on this near side. Orlando Bailey, Francis running hard. Instead, it was Gallagher, and then that's lovely from Lawrence. Lawrence looking to finish it here, gets it away. Oh, a Jomo! How did he gather that? And you never know with this match, you never know, but you're tempted to think that that's that. And this try scoring jamboree will end in Bath's favour. Well, Marcus Smith is speechless, but I have to say, 
what a try. It just keeps getting better and better. That is a beautiful try from first phase. Well constructed, the timing, the quality of the pass. Oli Lawrence. I mean, it's been phenomenal. I mean, that is some run from Lawrence. And then gets the hands free. And Thocker the singer, who's been outstanding as well all game. It's just the awareness. He runs that line. He's got the left arm up, ready for the fend. And look what it means. Well, the last time we saw him here, he had a very different expression on his face, leaving the pitch against France with the hamstring injury that would keep him out of the Six Nations for the for the duration. But now this. Now the try. And Bath have half a dozen at Twickenham. Des France is taking over the kicking. What about it? What about what about it? Tell you what, what a few minutes from Bath, and this is a brilliant set piece try, Nick. The way they set it up, the way they get the extra man, they come around the corner, look at Quinn's defence. They've got three guys in good position, all outside shoulder, but the last minute change of direction from Ollie Lawrence. He just goes inside shoulder. Martian doesn't see him, beats him. Puts a little fend in, keeps the ball alive. Brilliant first phase try. Well done, Bath. Try to end with at least two losing bonus points, but um, lost it temporarily, lost it permanently. Quinn's big summer party gate crashed by a Bath side who are enjoying themselves as much as they have all season. Three in a row for them. And in front of 40,000 at Twickenham, five-star entertainment. Final score, Harlequins 35, Bath 45.